Hi everybody, this is Courtney from Fiber Fox Studios and today in this tutorial we are going to go over how you do the crochet kimono cardigan but in size 1 yarn because the counts are a little bit different. You can substitute with size 2 as well. So we're going to go ahead and get started. All the foundation oval counts are going to be down in the description for this tutorial to help you decide which size you're going to make and the number of ovals you need to start your piece. So we're going to start off by getting a slip knot on our hook just like I've done here and we are going to go ahead and chain up five one two oops three four and five and we're going to wrap the yarn around our hook a total of two times and we're going to Go ahead and go down here into this very first stitch that we made right down here and we're going to insert our hook just like so so it's going to look just like this and we're going to grab our yarn and pull up a loop now we're going to grab our yarn again pull through two loops grab our yarn again pull through two loops grab our yarn again pull through two loops and that is your first foundation oval so you're going to go ahead and repeat this for the total number of foundation ovals that you need to start your project. When you are ready, you're going to go ahead and pause the video. We're going to do this one more time together, but you'll be pausing the video, continuing on with the number of um, foundation ovals that you need to do the specific size that you're going to work on. So we're going to show that to you one more time. We're going to go ahead and chain one. Now we're going to pinch right there. We're going to chain four more times, so a total of five chains. So there's my second, here is my third, here is my fourth, and here is my fifth. I'm going to wrap the yarn around our hook twice, and we're going to go back down here to this stitch that we were pinching, and we're going to insert into that stitch, and we're going to go ahead and grab our yarn and pull up a loop. Grab your yarn again and pull through two loops. Grab our yarn again and pull through two loops. Grab your yarn again and pull through two loops. So now I've got a second foundation oval. So you're going to continue on. The uh, multiple for the foundation ovals is two foundation ovals plus one. If you do want to go off the pattern that I am showing down below in the description or off the counts. So again, that is two foundation ovals plus one. For your multiples so you're going to go ahead and pause here and then we're going to come back when you have all your foundation ovals on your hook and ready to go all right so you should be back with me now and we're going to go ahead and begin working into our first foundation oval the main thing i want to point out is you don't want to twist this chain of foundation ovals um, in the adult sizes you're going to have quite a few chains in the kids sizes you're going to have less chains so either way you want to make sure that you keep that nice and flat and you do not twist your chain and I am working with the 3.75 millimeter hook um, I will have all the information on hook sizes and recommended for the size 1 and size 2 um, and the hook size does kind of adjust the size of your um, piece when you finish it up so I will have all that information down below in the description so right here we've got our um, working loop that's on our hook right now and we're going to go ahead and do a slip stitch right here into this first foundation oval so we're going to grab our yarn and pull up our loop so we're in that foundation oval and we're going to go ahead and pull on through and this is just moving us into a working position so now what we're going to do is we're going to chain three and this is going to count as our first double crochet and I'm not chaining too tight I'm just going to go ahead and do two more double crochets. To do a double crochet, you're going to wrap your yarn around your hook, just like I have here. You're going to come back down into this first foundation oval, and you're going to go right into that oval, and you're going to pull up a loop. Now you're going to grab your yarn again and pull through two loops. Grab your yarn again and pull through two loops, and that is your first, or that is your double crochet. It's your second one since that count, count of chain three is counting as one. So we're going to go ahead and do that one more time. Wrap your yarn around your hook. Insert right here into this oval. And let's go ahead and pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two and pull through two. So we have made our three double crochets essentially that begin out this row. 
Now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And that chain five is going to begin our repeat for this row. So the chain five is the beginning of your repeat. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to work in this next foundation oval and we're going to do three single crochets. So you're just going to go ahead and insert directly into the foundation oval and you're going to pull up a loop. You're going to grab your yarn and pull through two loops and you have done your first single crochet. So we're going to repeat that two more times right here into the same foundation oval. There's number two and here is number three. And now we're going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to go ahead and do a total of five double crochets here into this next foundation oval. So you're going to wrap your yarn insert it directly into that foundation oval, pull up a loop, grab your yarn again, pull through two, grab your yarn again, pull through two. So that's our first double crochet. We're going to do a second, just like so. Here's my third, and last but not least, a fourth, and now a final fifth double crochet right here into the same foundation oval. So now let's that ends our repeat for this row and we're going to be doing the same thing on down but you always want to stop and check your number of um, stitches that you've done and make sure in this case I needed five double crochets. So I'm going to make sure I have all five. Now that's the end of our repeat. I'm going to go ahead and do this with you a few more times. So we're going to chain five again. One, two, three, four and five. The chain five is the beginning of our repeat. I'm going to go ahead. I like to pull and keep everything out of my way. Now we're going to go ahead and go over here and do three single crochets directly into that foundation oval. One, two, and three. Now we're going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to come into our next foundation oval and we're going to do five double crochets. Here's one. Here's two. Here is three. Number four. And five. And that is the end of your repeat, just like so. So now we're going to do it together again. One, two, three, four, and five. That is the beginning of our repeat. Now we're going to come into this next foundation oval and we're going to do three single crochets. One, two, here's two, and three. Now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to come over here into this next foundation oval and we're going to do a total of five double crochets. Two. Here's number three. Number four. And number five. So now we're going to chain five and you're going to continue on. This is the beginning of your repeat again. You're going to pause here and you're going to come back when you have just two foundation ovals left to work in and then we will do those ending together. So go ahead and pause here and meet me back up when you finished out your row. And for me, I'm going to go ahead and work on, we're going to do three single crochets in the very next foundation oval. Here's one. Let's scoot those stitches over. Here's number two. And last but not least, number three. And now we're here at our last foundation oval, so we're going to go ahead and chain five again, just like we've been doing on down our row. Here's three 
four and five. But I'm going to go over here, I'm at my last foundation oval, and I'm going to do a total of three double crochets directly into that foundation oval to finish off this row. Here's one, here's two, and three. So, at the end of our row, we've ended with three double crochets. We began with three double crochets. So now we're going to go ahead and move on up to our next row. We're going to chain five to move up. One, two, three, four, and five. Now you're going to turn your work. And we're going to wrap our yarn and do a double crochet directly into this very first stitch. So we're going right here into the very first stitch. We've got three stitches total right here. So we're going to go ahead and do a double crochet in our very first. Now we're going to do a double crochet in each of the following stitches. So there are those double crochets from the previous row. We're going to work a double crochet into each stitch. Just like so. Now we're going to begin our repeat. We're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Now we're moving over here to where we have the three single crochets from the previous row and we're going to skip this first single crochet and go right here in the middle on the second single crochet and do a single crochet. Now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And we're going to come over here to where we have our double crochets and we're going to go ahead and do a double crochet in the first three double crochets from the previous row. And if you stretch your work apart, you can see those stitches very, very well. So we're going to go ahead and work a double crochet here into this first stitch. Just like so. We're going to do a double crochet in the very next stitch. Just like that. And we're going to do a double crochet here in the center third stitch on the previous row. We're going to go ahead and do a double crochet there. Now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a double crochet right back here into the same stitch. So we're still in that third stitch. We're going to go ahead and do a double crochet. Now we're going to do a double crochet in the next two double crochets from the previous row. So we're going to go right into the top of each one and we're going to do a double crochet. And we're going to do a double crochet. just like that. So now this is the end of our repeat and if you stop and take a look at your work this is what you're going to have so far. And we're going to do this one more time together and then you'll be pausing the video so you can move on and finish up all of your um, stitches on down that row. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to chain four. This is the beginning of the repeat again. Two, three, and four. And we're going to move over here to our three single crochets that we did on the previous row. And we are going to skip the first single crochet and move directly into the second single crochet in there in the center. And we are going to do a single crochet. And now we are going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And we're going to move over here to our five double crochets. And we're going to do a double crochet in the first three of those stitches, one in each. So here's our first double crochet. We're going to move on to the second stitch and do a double crochet. And we're going to move on to our third stitch and do a double crochet. And now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to go back into that same stitch right there 
and we're going to do a double crochet just like so and now we're going to do a double crochet in each of the next two double crochets from the previous row one stitch in the top of each and that ends the repeat so you're going to go ahead and pause here and you're going to continue on down doing a chain four single crochet in the second single crochet on the previous row so right there in the center chain four and then you're going to do a double crochet in the first three stitches from the previous row chain five and then do a double crochet right back into the same third stitch and you're going to do a double crochet in each of the next two stitches to end off your repeat so go ahead and pause here and I will have it marked in the video where you can rewind to if you do need extra help and you are going to be meeting back up with me when you have three stitches left to work into at the end of your row it's going to be your last three double crochets we're going to meet up back here and that is where we're going to show you how to finish off this row and begin the next and we are back and we're at the end of our row we've got a chain four on our hook right now and we have three double crochets left to work into so we're going to do those together we're going to do a double crochet in each of those stitches so we're going to go right here and start with this first one we're going to do a double crochet in the very first stitch just like so we're going to do a double crochet in the very next stitch right there on the top of it just like that don't be afraid to stretch things apart so that you can see them and we're going to do a double crochet and it's technically our chain three that we began that row with we're going to go ahead and count up from the bottom one two and three and go into that third the top of the third stitch and we're going to do a double crochet we're going to chain two one and two and we are going to go back here into the same stitch the same exact one and we are going to do a double crochet right there in the same stitch we're going to do a double crochet and that's going to end out our row so to begin our next row we're going to chain three one two and three and we're going to turn our work and now we're going to do three double crochets right here into this chain two space that we just made so our chain three is counting as our first double crochet so now technically I have two double crochets I want a total of four here so I'm going to do my third and finally my fourth all there into that chain space so working directly into that chain space and now we're going to chain three and this begins our repeat one two and three and we're going to work a double crochet in each of the double crochets from the previous row so we're going to go ahead and do a double crochet in this first stitch and we're going to do a double crochet in the next stitch and we're going to do a double crochet right here into this very last stitch and now we're going to chain three one two and three and we're going to move over here we're now at our single crochet from the previous row we're going to put a single crochet right there in the top of that stitch now we're going to chain three one two and three and we're going to come over here to these double crochets there's three of them right here before our chain five and we're going to work a double crochet into the top of each stitch so right here in this first one I'm going to do a double crochet in the very next one I'm going to do a double crochet in the next stitch I'm going to do a double crochet and now I'm going to chain three one two and three and we're now here at the chain five and we're going to do seven double crochets right here into the chain five space directly working into that space here's my first one total of seven so here's number two here is number three I'm going to do number four number oops dropped it number five 
number six and seven. And now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And we're going to move over here to these three double crochets from the previous row, and we are going to do a double crochet in each one. So let's go ahead and do a double crochet in the first one. We are going to do a double crochet in the next one. And we are going to do a double crochet in the very last one. And this ends our repeat for this row. I'm going to do this together with you one more time and then you'll be pausing the video and we're going to meet back up here at the end when we have the last four stitches to work into. So we're going to go ahead and do one more time together. We're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And we're going to come over here. We're at the single crochet. So let's stretch that apart so you can see it. So we're going to do a single crochet right here into the single crochet from the previous row. We're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And we're going to do a double crochet in the next three double crochets from the previous row. Here's our first one. Here is our second. And here is our third. And I'm going right there on the top of that stitch each time. Now we're going to chain three again, one, two, and three, and we're going to do seven double crochets right here into this chain five space. There's one, oops, here is number two, number three, we're going to go in here and do number four. Here is our fifth, our sixth, and the seventh. And now we're going to chain three again, one, two, and three. And we're going to come over here to these double crochets from the previous row, and we're going to do a double crochet in each one of those stitches. So I'm going right here into the top of that stitch. I'm doing my double crochet. Now I'm going to do a double crochet right here into the very next stitch. If you're having trouble seeing where to work into, just pull your um, work apart and you will be able to find the top of those stitches very easily with a small yarn. And that is the end of my repeat. You're going to go ahead and pause the video here and we're going to meet back up when you're at the end of your row with these last four stitches to work into. All right, and we are back and we're at the end of our row and you have your entire row completed now at this point and we're going to work this last portion together. So we've got three double crochets from the previous row right here and then we have our chain five. So how we're going to work into that is we're going to work a double crochet here into these first three stitches. So you're just going to go ahead and work a double crochet into each of those stitches. Here's number two. So I'm doing a total of three double crochets right here. One into the top of each stitch from the previous row. And now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And now I'm going to be working the first three stitches directly into this chain space. So we're going to go ahead and do three double crochets directly into that chain space. There's number one. Here's number two. Here is number three. So now what we're going to do is we need a fourth double crochet, but we're going to count up here from the bottom on this chain, and we're going to find the third stitch. So we're going to start here. We're going to count one, two, and three. And that third stitch is where we're going to insert our hook to do our last double crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and do my double crochet right there into that stitch. And that helps us keep a nice straight line on our project. So now we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four, and we're going to turn our work. Now I'm going to pull out a little bit more yarn 
here so you don't want to fight with it when you're working on your project so I'm gonna pull out a little bit more I've got my work turned just like so this is what we have so far just to kind of take a look at what you've got going on so now what we're going to do is we're going to be doing some double crochet clusters and this is going to be the last row and then I'm going to show you how you begin your new setup row which is essentially your new row one that was originally your foundation ovals when you started this project and then you'll be able to just rewind the video to the starts and that are going to be marked and continue on with your project you are doing your complete back panel at this point so what we're going to do, we've got our chain four on our hook, we're going to wrap and do, like we're about to do a double crochet, and we're going to do a double crochet cluster. So we're going to skip this very first stitch right here that our chain is coming out of. We're going to skip that stitch and move directly into the second stitch. We're going to grab our yarn, pulling up a loop. We're going to pull through two loops, and we're going to hold it. We have two loops on our hook. We're going to wrap our yarn again, and we're going to go right back here into the same um, stitch that we're working in and we're going to pull up a loop we're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it we've got three loops on our hook we're going to wrap our yarn again we're going to go back here into that same exact stitch again and we're going to pull up a loop we're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it we've got four loops on our hook now we're going to grab our yarn turn our hook down so it's facing towards our project and pull through all four loops on our hook that is a double crochet cluster. So we're going to go ahead and chain three, one, two, and three. And we're going to move over here and we're going to skip this very next stitch and we're going to work into the fourth stitch in this section. So we're going to wrap our yarn and we're going to do another double crochet cluster. So we're going to go into the top of that stitch, pulling up a loop. We're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it. We have two loops on our hook. We're going to wrap our yarn again. We're going to go into the same exact stitch and we're going to pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it. So we've got three loops on our hook. We're going to wrap our yarn again. We're going to go down here into the same exact stitch again and we're going to pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it. We've got four loops on our hook so we know we're done. We're going to grab our yarn, turn our hook down towards our project and go ahead and pull through all four loops on our hook. So now we are going to begin the repeat. So for the repeat, we're going to begin with a chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to be doing another cluster, but we're going to cluster these three double crochets right here on this side skip over the chain three single crochet and cluster together these three. All of these stitches are going to come together. And I'm going to show you how that's done. We're going to wrap our yarn around our hook. We're going to go here into this very first stitch, just like so, and we're going to pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two, and we're going to hold it. So we've got two loops on our hook. We're going to wrap our yarn again. We're going to move into this very next stitch. We're going to pull up a loop, we're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it. So we've got three loops on our hook. We're going to wrap our yarn again. We're going to go here into this third double crochet and we are going to insert our hook right into the top of that stitch. We're going to grab our yarn and pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it. So we've got four loops on our hook now. Now we're going to wrap our yarn again. We're going to come and we're going to skip over all of these chains right here. And we're going to move over here to where we have the three double crochets. And we are going to insert our hook into the very first one. We're going to pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it. So now we have five loops on our hook. See right there? We're going to wrap again. We're going to insert our hook into the very next double crochet and pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two. Oops, let it slip off. I'm going to pull through two and we're going to hold it. So now we have six loops on our hook. We're going to wrap our yarn again. We're going to go here into this last double crochet. We're going to insert our hook. We're going to pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it. We have seven loops on our hook now. So now 
turn our hook down and pull through all seven loops. And I lost them all. And we're going to go ahead and try that one more time. We've got seven loops on our hook. I've got my yarn wrapped. I'm going to pull through all seven loops on my hook, just like so. And now I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And now I'm going to move over here. I'm at my seven double crochets, and I'm going to start my clusters again, my double crochet clusters. So I'm going to start my first one right here in this first double crochet. So I'm going to wrap my yarn around my hook. I'm going to insert into that very first stitch, pulling up a loop. I'm going to pull through two, and I'm going to hold it. I've got two loops on my hook. I'm going to wrap my yarn again, go into that same exact stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, and I'm going to hold it. I've got three loops on my hook. I'm going to wrap my yarn again. I'm going to insert into that same exact space, same exact chain, and pull up a loop, pull through two. I've got four loops on my hook, so I know I'm finished. I'm going to grab my yarn, pull through all four loops. Now I'm going to chain three, and I'm going to repeat that, skipping the very next stitch in the row. I'm going to be skipping one and doing a cluster into the very next. Skip, cluster, skip, cluster. You'll be ending the row or the section, I mean, with a cluster. So we're going to do that together. I'm going to wrap my yarn. I'm going to skip this very next stitch right here. And I'm going to move into the third stitch, and I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to pull through two. I'm going to hold it, two loops on my hook. I'm going to wrap my yarn again. I'm going to go into the same exact stitch, pulling up a loop, pull through two. I'm going to hold it with three loops on my hook. I'm going to wrap my yarn again. I'm going to go into the same exact stitch. I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to pull through two, and I'm going to hold it with four loops on my hook. I know I'm done, so I'm going to wrap my yarn and pull through all four loops. Now I'm going to chain three. One, two, and three. And I'm going to skip this very next stitch, the fourth stitch, and I'm going to move here into this very next one, which is the fifth. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap my yarn, pull up a loop, pull through two, and hold it, two loops on the hook. Wrap my yarn again, insert into the same exact stitch, pulling up a loop, pull through two, and I'm going to hold it with three loops on my hook. Wrap my yarn again, insert into the same exact stitch, Pulling up a loop, pull through two, and hold it. I have four loops on my hook, so I'm going to grab my yarn and pull through all four loops. Now I'm going to chain three, and I'm going to skip the sixth double crochet in that row below, and I'm going to move here into the seventh. It's the very last one in this section. I'm going to wrap my yarn. I'm going to go directly into the top of that double crochet and pull up a loop. I'm going to pull through two, and I'm going to hold it. I've got two loops on my hook going to wrap my yarn again. I'm going to go here into the same exact stitch, pulling up a loop. I'm going to pull through two, and I'm going to hold it. I have three loops on my hook. I'm going to wrap my yarn again, insert here into the same exact stitch, pulling up a loop. I'm going to pull through two, and I'm going to hold it. I've got four loops on my hook, so I'm going to grab my yarn, turn down towards my project, and pull through all four loops on my hook. That ends your repeat for this row. So you're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. That's the beginning of your repeat, and we'll do it one more time together, and then you'll be pausing the video to work on down your row. So I've got a chain five. I'm going to come here into these three double crochets, and I'm going to cluster those together and bridge this gap essentially over here to these three double crochets. So we're going to be doing one large cluster. So I've got my yarn wrapped around my hook like I'm going to do a double crochet. I'm going to come into this very first double crochet. I've skipped over this chain three, and I'm going to go right here into the top of that double crochet, and I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to pull through two, and I'm going to hold it. I'm going to wrap my yarn again, and I'm going to move here into the very next double crochet. I'm going to insert my hook. I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to pull through two, and I'm going to hold it. That's going to be three loops on my hook now. I'm going to wrap my yarn again. I'm going to come here into this third double crochet, and I'm going to insert my hook. I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to pull through two, and I'm going to hold it. I've got four loops on my hook. I'm going to wrap my yarn again, and I'm going to skip over all these chains in the single crochet, and I'm going to come over here to these double crochets, and I'm going to go ahead. I've got my yarn already wrapped around my hook, so I'm going to go ahead and insert into that first double crochet and pull up a loop. I'm going to pull through two, and I'm going to hold it. I've got 
five loops on my hook now. I'm going to wrap my yarn again. I'm going to insert here into this very next double crochet. Go right into that stitch. I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to pull through two. And I'm going to hold it. So now I've got six loops on my hook. I'm going to wrap my yarn again. I'm going to go here into this very last double crochet in this section. And I'm going to insert my hook right into the top of it. And I'm going to pull up a loop. Now I'm going to pull through two. And I'm going to hold it. So I've got a total of seven loops on my hook now. So I'm going to grab my yarn. And I'm going to pull through all seven loops on my hook. And it looks just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and chain five again, one, two, three, four, and five. And I'm going to come over here to this section where we have our seven double crochets and I'm going to begin doing my double crochet clusters. I'm going to do my very first one right here into the first stitch. So I've skipped over this chain three and I'm coming right here into the top of this stitch. I'm going to insert my hook, pull up a loop, pull through two and hold it. I'm going to insert my hook again right there, wrap my yarn and insert. Pulling up a loop, pull through two and hold it. I'm going to wrap my yarn again, insert into the same exact chain or the same exact stitch. Pulling up a loop, pull through two and hold it. I've got four loops on my hook, so I'm going to grab my yarn and pull through all four loops. I'm going to chain three, one, two, and three. I'm going to skip the very next stitch right here, and I'm going to move into the third stitch, and I'm going to do another double crochet cluster. So let's go ahead and wrap my yarn insert into this third stitch and I'm going to do another double crochet cluster just like we've been doing. I'm going to do that until I have four loops on my hook. I've got three right now. And here's my last one. So you're doing a total of three times in each one to form that cluster. I've got four loops on my hook. I'm going to wrap and pull through all four loops. Now I'm going to chain three. I'm going to wrap my yarn again. I'm going to skip this very next stitch right here. I'm going to move right here into this fifth stitch and I'm going to insert and pull up a loop, pull through two and hold it. And I'm going to continue doing my double crochet cluster until I have four loops. So I'm doing that three times into the top of the same exact stitch to get the four loops on my hook. I'm going to pull through all four loops. I'm going to chain three, one, two, and three. And I'm going to skip the sixth stitch in this section and move here into the seventh, the very last one to end out. I'm going to go ahead and do my last double crochet cluster right here into the top of that stitch, just like so. Wrap again. You can really stretch this out and it will not hurt a thing. So I've got four loops on my hook. I'm going to pull through all four loops and that is the end of that repeat. So we're going to lay this down. And take a look and then you're going to pause the video and you're going to come back and meet up with me when we have our last four stitches to work into. So you're going to go ahead and cluster together at the end here. We're going to be doing that cluster. You're going to cluster these stitches together and then we're going to meet back up when you have four double crochets right here together and that's where we're going to meet up. But this is what your work is looking like so far. So let's go ahead and lay that out. So that cluster that we're doing right here and bringing that together when we begin our repeat with the chain five, that cluster looks like this. And then our double crochet clusters, they form these really pretty little fan-like things. So this is what our, your work should be looking like at this point. So you're going to go ahead and pause here and you will go ahead and work out the rest of your row with the same repeat that I've done twice with you. And we will meet back up when you have your last four double crochets at the very end of your row. Alright, and we are back and you are at the end of your row. You've got a chain five on your hook. And you are here at your last four stitches of the row. So we're going to go ahead and do those together. You're going to go ahead and do a double crochet cluster right here into the very first stitch just like you've been doing on down your row. So you're going to go ahead and do a double crochet cluster right here in the very first double crochet here in this section. So we're going to go ahead and do that cluster. And now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And we're going to skip this very next stitch and we're going to move into the third stitch and do a double crochet cluster just like that. We're going to go ahead and do our double crochet cluster right here. We're going to work 
just like we have been and do that cluster in the third double crochet from the previous row. Now we're going to pull through a loop. Instead of chaining three this time, we're going to chain one and we're going to come down here to this chain three that began this row and we're going to count up one, two, three chains and we're going to go ahead and insert our hook into the top of that third chain and we're going to do a double crochet. So we're going to do one double crochet, crochet right here at the end of that row. Just like that. And that ends the full pattern repeat. This is exactly how you do all throughout. I'm going to show you your new row, row one that replaces these foundation ovals that we began with and you will be set to continue on. You're going to finish up your back panel is what you're working on and then I will come back and show you how to do your front panels so that you can finish out the cardigan. So we're going to go ahead and chain one and this is our new row one. So we're going to chain one and now we're going to go and work right here under the very top of the very first stitch, the top of that double crochet. We're going to do a single crochet right there into the top of that stitch. You can do a single crochet. And now we're going to chain two, one and two. And we're going to skip over this first cluster right here and go right here into this chain three space and do a single crochet. Now this is the beginning of your repeat for this row. We're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to come over here to where we clustered those six double crochets together. And if you pull your work apart, you can see that there is a perfect little space that we can put a stitch into right there. So we're going to work right here into that. So I'm going to go ahead and do a double crochet right into that stitch or into that space. So I'm going to come in here and I've got my yarn ready. I'm going to go ahead and do a double crochet. So I'm going to double crochet going right there into that space that I just showed you. And I'm going to do a double crochet. Just like that. Now I'm going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, and five. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do a single crochet right here into that chain three space. So I'm skipping over that first cluster and going in between it on the chain three. Now I'm going to chain two, one and two. And we're going to come over here to this next chain three space and do a single crochet. Now I'm going to chain two again, one and two, and I'm going to come over here to this next chain three space and do a single crochet. So now I'm going to chain five again, one, two, three, four, and five. This is the beginning of your repeat again. We're going to do it one more time together. Chain five is the beginning of the repeat. We're going to go ahead and wrap our yarn and do a double crochet. And if you look, we're going to go right here into that space that I pointed out. You're going to see that again. We're going to work right here into that space. So we're going to go ahead and wrap our yarn and do insert our hook and do a double crochet right there into the top of that space. Just like so. Now we're going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to come over here. We're now at the clusters again. We're going to go ahead and skip this first cluster and go right here in the chain three space and do a single crochet. Now I'm going to chain two, one and two, and I'm going to skip over this cluster and move right here into the very next chain three space and do a single crochet. And now I'm going to chain two again. I'm going to skip over this very next cluster and go here into this chain three space and do a single crochet. And that is the end of your repeat. So you're going to continue on with your chain five, double crochet, chain five, and then single crochet, chain twos until you finish out the rest of your row. And we will meet back up at the end when you have your last um, double crochet done in the chain five on your hook. We're going to do this last little section right here together. So go ahead and pause here and we'll meet back up at the end.
and we are back and you're at the end of your row and we're going to go ahead and work the very end of your row together. So you've got your chain five on your hook and you're going to skip over this next double crochet cluster and go right here into this chain three space and we're going to do a single crochet. Now we're going to chain two, one and two and we're going to go over here and we're at our chain four that began this row. So we're going to count up from the bottom of this chain to the third chain. So here's one, two, and right there is number three. And that's where we're going to place in the right into that third chain, we're going to place our single crochet. And that ends out that row. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how you work row two to show you how you work in these chain spaces that we've created. So I'm going to do a chain three and you're going to go ahead and turn your work. And we're going to wrap our yarn and we're going to do two double crochets right here into this chain two space that we just created. So we're going to do two more double crochets. So that first chain counts as a double crochet. So we've got a total of three double crochets right here at the beginning just like we began with when we started down below. So now we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to come over here. We're at that double crochet that we did right there in the center of our cluster. So we're going to skip over this chain five right here. Stretch this out a little bit better. We're skipping over this. We're coming right here to that double crochet and right beside it we're going to insert our hook and do a single crochet. To do a single crochet right in the top of that double crochet. And we're going to do a single crochet right here in the top of, or right there, right beside that double crochet. So that chain five was the beginning of your repeat for this row. So we did a chain five and then we did a single crochet beside the double crochet, a single crochet in the top of the double crochet, in a single crochet right directly beside it. So now we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to come over here and you're going to spread out your work so you can take a look. We're going to be skipping over the rest of this chain five. We're going to skip over that single crochet and we're going to do two double crochets right here into that chain two space that we created. So there's one double crochet. Here is two double crochets. And now we're going to do a double crochet right here into that single crochet. And now we're going to go ahead and do two more double crochets into this chain two space right here. One and two. And now we're going to begin our repeat again. So the beginning of our repeat is going to be a chain five. We're going to do this one last time together. So chain five, there's three four and five. And now we're going to come over here. We're at our double crochet again. So we're going to do a single crochet directly in front of it. Just like so we're going to do a single crochet into the top of the double crochet and we're going to do a single crochet immediately after it. Now we're going to chain five again. One, two, three, four and five. And we're going to come over here. We're now back at our clusters and the chain two spaces that we created. So we're going to skip this single crochet and we're going to do two double crochets right there into that chain two space that we created. There's my first double crochet. Here is my second double crochet. And now I'm going to go ahead and do a double crochet right here into the single crochet. Just like so. And now I'm going to do two double crochets into this chain two space that we created. Go ahead and do two double crochets. Just like that. And that is the end of your repeat. So you're going to continue on. You're going to chain five, do your three single crochets together right here. Chain five again and then do your double crochets. And then we will meet back up when you have the very end of your row with this one chain two space left to work in. And then we will finish this up pause right here and come back when you are ready to do the very last chain two space. All right and we are back and you should have a chain five on your hook and we're going to work into this very last chain two together. So we're going to go ahead and do two double crochets right there into that chain two. Here's my first one. I'm going to wrap and I'm going to do my second. 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and wrap, but I'm going to be doing my last double crochet right here into the single crochet at the very end of the row. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert my hook, and I'm gonna pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, last double crochet. All right, so you're gonna be continuing on until you've got your full back panel done, and then we're gonna meet back up for part two so that we can do the um, front panels together. I'll show you how the construction goes on those, and then there will be a last but not least part three where I'm gonna show you some border options for this. And as always, please check the description down below for all the information on how you can substitute, what you can substitute. This one is pretty specific for doing the kimono cardigan in the smaller size yarns. So I'm gonna be providing all the information for the size yarn um, one and two down below in the description. And you're going to have your rewind spots that you can go back to, so you're just gonna rewind and go ahead and finish out. I do recommend a total of 10 repeats, and this right here is a repeat to me. This section right here, one of these is a repeat. So I recommend that you're gonna have 10 of these basically looking like a flower. To me, this one looks like a flower when it's turned in this direction. We're gonna have a total of 10 repeats, so it is 50 rows essentially because there's five rows to do one of these. Um, so you're gonna continue on and we'll meet back up at part two so that we can. And there's gonna be five total repeats for the children's sizes. So 10 for the adults, five of these for the children's sizes. And we can adjust um, based on your preference. You can adjust from there and do more or less rows.